Ki Hoi Kwan is making a huge comeback 25 years after he disappeared. At just 12 years old, he was starring in some of the biggest movies in the world, working alongside Harrison Ford. And then he vanished. So many people have come up to me and said, how come you don't act anymore? He had been living a lie, never revealing the real reason he quit acting until now. Boys like this only happen in the movies. I cannot believe it's happening to me. Who forced Key to quit and how did he fight his way back? I, I haven't seen Harrison Ford in 38 years and I got really nervous. My heart was pounding. I saw him and as I get closer, he turns to me. He takes one look at me, and all of a sudden, he has that classic Harrison Ford grumpy look. And he raises his finger and points it at me. He says, are you short round? And immediately, I was transported back to when I was a little kid. How did you wind up in that movie? And they decided to have an open call in Chinatown, Los Angeles. And the casting director saw me and asked me if I wanted to try, and I did. The next day, I got a call from Steven Spielberg's office. At age 12, he was suddenly a star. He was a real natural actor, and I really enjoyed working with him. He's parents sacrificed everything to help him achieve his dreams. My journey started on a boat. I spent a year in a refugee camp. My dad was a businessman in, in Vietnam, and my mom had her own clothing store. So they gave all of that up just so that we can have a better future. I felt so proud because for the first time in my life, rather than taking something from them, I felt that I can give something back. He followed his acting dream, being a part of huge blockbusters, when all of a sudden, the opportunity stopped. It was tough to be an Asian actor at that time. Asian Americans were almost thoroughly excluded, except when someone needed an exotic villain, a sex object. I was used to seeing, you know, the stereotypical butt of the joke characters. I couldn't get a job. When you work with Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford and George Lucas, you can't go anywhere but downhill from there. As I got older, I made that difficult decision to step away, not because I didn't love it. I really love it, but there was just not a lot of opportunities for me. He gave up his dream of acting and focused on working behind the camera. When he met someone who would change his life forever, his wife, Echo. She taught me to be a better person. She's the most giving person and, uh, and she's the most accepting person. I spent a long time lying to myself that acting isn't fun anymore. And so many people said, how come you don't act anymore? Uh, and I would say I don't enjoy it. And I thought that I've said it enough times where I actually believed it. But that wasn't true. Acting was something that I, I love all my life. He thought he'd live the rest of his life regretting his decision to give up. Until... 2018, when a little movie called The Crazy Witch Asians came out. I, I, I remember watching it three times in the theaters, and I cried every single time. It moved me. I'm so proud to be part of this. We're not just a token for diversity. You know, we, it, to be real representation means you have a meaningful character that has hopes and dreams. Seeing Michelle Yeoh achieve her dream, Ki realized how much he had given up. He decided to risk everything and follow his acting dream one last time. And, and it was really then that I decided to get back into acting. Literally, two weeks later, I got a call about this movie. It was one of the happiest reading I've ever done because uh, it featured a, a Chinese family. Ki Hui Kwan read for the male lead. Two months went by. My hope of landing the job slowly, slowly dissipated. But it was my wife. She said, you will get it. Echo was right. I got everything everywhere all at once. And that was one of the happiest phone calls I have ever gotten. And I started crying. And when the movie finally came out, Key was shocked when everyone fell in love with him all over again. I feel very, very grateful. This has been such an emotional journey. I, I thought everybody had, for had forgotten about me. And his old friend was there cheering him on. I, ha I haven't seen Harrison Ford in 38 years. He says, are you short round? And I said, yes, Indy. Pose me in, gave me the biggest hug. What's it like to watch him achieve these great things? I'm happy for him. He's a wonderful actor. He was when he was a little kid and he still is. By going after what he really wanted and not letting others limit him, he finally achieved his dream. And the Oscar goes to...
Take my heart. I want to thank the most important person in my life. The one person that never stopped believing in me. My wife, Echo, I love you with all my heart. This moment no longer belongs to just me. It also belongs to everyone who has asked for change. Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, please keep your dreams alive.